Bonjour. Hello. Nous now, with the berry season, season starting, I'm going to show you today a recipe for a berry crumble, which you can also use with many other fruits. But for today, I'm going to use blueberries, strawberries, and red currants. The mildness of the strawberries coupled with the acidity of the currants and juicy tart blueberries creates a really wonderful taste together. Now it's a really easy recipe. You'll need about one and a half cups of flour, half a cup of sugar, and half a cup of butter. Now I'll start with the dough. Now the butter is already soft at about room temperature, so I'll cut it up into small pieces. And add the sugar, and the flour, and you'll mix it and pinch it until you get small doughy pieces. Now the dough is going to remain crumbly. Now roll it a little between your fingers. And between your hands. Now you should have lumpy dough, something like this. Now you can pinch it to mix it further. Next, we'll go to the berries, which we'll put at the bottom of our pan. First, we'll put in the blueberries and the red currants. Now be sure to remove the stems. And of course, we've washed all the fruit before. And next, I'm going to cut the strawberries into two or four pieces. Now you can also use apples, blackberries, any kind of fruit really. But since it's berry season, I'm using berries. And of course, the strawberries have been washed as well.
Now we're covering the red currants and blueberries with our strawberries. Now they'll all mix together at the end. Now for the quantity of fruit that I've used, about, used about four cups of strawberries and one and a half cups of both blueberries and the red currants. Now if you or your grandchildren have harvested loads of blackberries during the summer, use those. Voilà. Now we're going to add a little brown sugar. A little brown sugar. And on top, our dough or our crumble. It you'll roll between your hands to sprinkle on. Now it'll form a thin crust on the top of the fruit. And it'll turn golden brown and it will stay very crumbly. So voila, we'll bake this at about 400 or 375 for 35 minutes. So, the crumble is finished baking. And now because my pan is not so pretty, I'm going to serve my crumble in this dish to hide the pan. Now you can put fruit around the pan in order to hide it as well. I wish you a very bon appétit and see you soon.